Hey, it's Nikki Thompson and I'm excited to be live with you this morning. It's another gorgeous Monday. However, it's actually raining here despite the brightness. I don't know if you can see the raindrops on the pool, um, which is why I'm sitting at home doing this video this morning rather than by the water. So today on the podcast, if you didn't know, I do have a weekly podcast. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those places. It's called Tea with Nikki, Embracing Your Sexual Energy. And a new episode has just downloaded. I think there's 20 episodes now that you can check out. Um, this week's episode, so I have a, an, a, uh, an individual episode where I just do it myself. I do that every Monday. And then I also have an interview um, most Wednesdays. So go check that out. This week's episode that just um, was released this morning was all about how orgasms and courage is connected. And I talk about how when we are deeply connected and when we were embracing our sexual energy and we talk about that through orgasm um, and how that can be an amazing practice to get started to connecting your head and your body back together because often we're living just in our heads. We're making decisions based on what is logical. We're making decisions based on what people tell us. Um, we're making decisions based on the beliefs, the stories, the narratives that we have taken on board from family, friends, society, and social media. And so when we're living in this space in our heads, good morning, Angela. I'm looking forward to our call tonight. Um, I, know, I just saw that you can't make it tonight, um, but yes, you'll definitely love watching it tomorrow morning. We are starting the Vibe program tonight, uh, which I'm really excited about. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. But when we're in our heads, we're living in this space, we're dis disconnected from the rest of our body. And when we connect through our sexual energy, we can start to listen to our intuition. And when we start to listen to our intuition, there's a crucial step, a crucial, crucial step to help us to really have the life that our heart and our intuition is kind of wanting for us and what we really, 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 really want but we often don't achieve is because we don't have the courage to take the actions that our intuition is telling us. And there's a number of reasons why we don't. And one of those is because we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust that we can do the things that we really, 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 really want to do. Um, it can be that what our intuition is telling us when we do reconnect the head with the body, what our intuition is telling us is actually goes against what our parents might have told us to be doing, what society might be telling us to be living, what social media might be saying is amazing and we don't want to do that. When, we say, when our intuition is telling us something against what we firmly believe or the belief stories that we have and the limiting beliefs we have, we struggle to take action and we need to have we need to kind of boost that courage muscle so that we can start to have more courage and we can do that through trusting ourselves, and that's a big step and it's a hard fucking step to take and that's how orgasms and courage connect and so on this week's episode if you haven't i just sorry my dog is asleep on my bed i can see him through see her through the window Oh man, she's way too clever. She's way too clever. Anyway, she knew I was occupied, so she snuck in there. So this is what I would love you to do is go and listen to the episode today. You're going to love this episode. If you haven't already, go and check out some of the um, guest interviews that we've done over the past couple of months. Amazing stories about women who are really shifting things in their life, listening to their sexual like embracing their sexual energy listening to their intuition and just doing incredible things and this week on the podcast on wednesday our guest interview is with samantha nolan smith who is an expert in helping women become more visible and we talk about how do we step into when we are embracing this sexual energy good morning heather um, when we are embracing our sexual energy how do we become more visible in this new space and that's what this week's um, ex our guest is all about. And that will be uh, released on Wednesday morning. So be sure to check that out. 
So tonight we start the Vibe program. You can still join in. You've got a few more hours until we'll close it off for enrollments. Um, so if you would like the link to that, just send me a message and I can send it to you. And we're gonna be going into how do we plan our life, our days, our weeks, our months, by being embracing our, sex, uh, our sexual energy, our feminine energy, as well as the masculine, the doing side of things. But how do we kind of get into that being side of things, that feminine energy, in order to head in the right direction without just busting our ass going forward in a direction that we actually don't want to be going in? So how do we connect all of these pieces together? And that's what we'll be going through over the next three days inside the, the Vibe program. It starts live tonight. It's about an hour, hour and a half each call for three days. It's going to be recorded, so if you can't make each live call, that's okay. You can still join in um, and watch the recording. So I hope you have the most incredible day and I hope to see some of you tonight inside the Vibe program. And I will also be back here tomorrow morning. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful weather um, with my hot chocolate and rug up a little bit. It's just, oh, I wish I could show you how beautiful it is when it's raining. I don't know, you can't really see it because it's not raining hard enough that it's like really visible, but anyway. Anyway, I will um, chat to you guys later, bye.